All right. We're really here to check on Vulture. Ooh, okay, nobody on the roost. Okay. Oh, somebody laid an egg. All right, Vulture. So last time y'all saw Vulture, she only had four eggs. A bunch of hens laid their eggs next to Vulture. And left her to take care of them. I was going to show y'all what the eggs look like. So we're going to candle some eggs. So I'm just going to set this here. And it's a little flashlight. And it has like a little cone. And it's just easy access right here. Hopefully to, this doesn't fall. But you just turn it on like that. And then you just grab an egg. So I candled these about five days ago <clears throat> she has a ton of eggs under her sometimes the chicks will come and lay another egg and I'll take it away so like this one this one I'm taking away because she already has too many eggs we don't need her to hatch anymore this one oh this is a good one so this one I marked with a red mark because when I candled it last time, it looked like just a normal egg. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. So, when you're looking at this egg, there's nothing There's nothing in it. This is just what kind of like a grocery store egg looks like. There's no veins. There's no, you know, dark spot where the chicken eye would be. So, this is a normal chicken egg that you would find like in your refrigerator. So this down here is like the albumin of the egg, and this up here is like the yolk. And I am not going to eat this egg. So originally I marked it because I was marking all the eggs because the other chickens were laying the eggs. And I couldn't tell them apart, so the way to tell them apart was like, I'm going to keep the one with the black lines. So I worked really fast and just kind of marked all the eggs. Then I came back maybe like five days later and candled them and this one I left in here to show y'all but I'm gonna throw this out and give it to the dog so I marked it with a red X because I knew it's not fertilized so this is just the plain yolk up here it wasn't fertilized by a rooster and this is just the albumin so this is not a this egg has been sitting under here under her for probably at least 18 days and you don't want to keep an egg that long especially like in an incubator because it could bust and just really smell up your incubator it's really nasty so I'm just gonna throw this one out so these are ready to hatch any day now and I turn my fans off to see if I hear any little chirping you can actually hear the little chirps so Here's another egg. So this egg should be fertile. I marked it. It's probably on day, oh my gosh, day 18. And it's hard to see this egg. For one, it's a green shell. I'm kind of listening for chirps. And another thing is, this egg is so full that you, there's like no air cell let's check let's check a white egg oh i'm gonna check one of these okay this is an this is an egg okay let's put it up to my candler here so these are so ready to hatch so you can't see anything let me see if i hold it down somewhere dark Okay, so here, let me put it back up. So here, you see that? This chick is about to hatch anytime now. It's grown so much that that air cell down there is where it will take its little pip tooth and chip away at the egg until it's free. This, egg, this chick will hatch probably in the next couple of days.
and it's in a white shell so I can see it easier. That green one is probably just the same, just full, and the chick is so big that you can't really see anything. Uh, but I know I did candle that egg and it was definitely fertile. Oh, you see the chick movement? You see that chick movement right there? And sometimes when you are in a very quiet place, like when I had my incubator, you could actually hear the baby chick. And the mama hen can hear the chicks. Let's see. Let's get this white egg. So I got another white egg. Again, it's so full. But you could see a little orange down there. That is the little air cell. This egg is so full of baby chick that you can't really see the air cell. Now about five days ago, I could see the air cell a lot. So they've grown in five days. Let's maybe take another one here. And you want to put it kind of like point down. I'm going to say this, this is the point. And here, oh, you can see all the shadow is the chicken. And down here is the air cell. So here over the weekend, we're going to have some baby chicks. So, okay. And see, she's picked all of her feathers off. She is part silky, so if I were to like call her and eat her, I'd be eating like black skin. Uh, silkies have black skin, black eyes. See how black her eyes are? And I call her vulture because she's definitely looks like a vulture. And she's a naked neck. See, she has how many feathers on her neck. And I call her showgirl because. You know, show, show girls aren't completely naked. They have like a little, a little top on them. And she does have five toes. Normally chickens have three, but she has five. So, I'm just checking her, making sure she doesn't have any other eggs from a chicken. I'm gonna take them out. I don't want them to go to waste. But they all seem to be marked. She knows they're gonna hatch any day now. She is super warm. She's been a good mama. Okay, okay. Let's put all these back under her. She's, I've been handling her quite a lot. 